TFLW is on. You have found the place where we talk about all things NASCAR. My name is Kerry Murphy. I'm a longtime NASCAR media member and syndicated radio host of all things The Final Lap. Our co-host right there is Toby Christie, founder and editor-in-chief at tobychristie.com. We are doing video! YouTube.com slash The Final Lap. This is our YouTube segment. If you're watching... Uh, we love having you on board. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and bell. All three of those things. Yes. Knock them all out at once, and then you can that sit back and just do it. Yeah, just sit back and relax after you do all that. You can even pause this for a second while you do it if you want, if you have to. I guess. I guess. But, I mean, it's not that difficult. Well, hey, you know, let's not question people's abilities. Technology is kind of tough sometimes. Just do what you got to do. Match the bell. Subscribe wherever it's at, somewhere over in this. And this region. is the like icon button thing. Yeah, hit that one. Yes, that one. Right. And then the big subscribe button, and then the bell one is the bell. Yeah, that's where you get notifications every time something. Am posts. I trapped like in COVID land, or what is this? <laughs> oh! Guys, it's COVID here. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what it looks like in the background? Uh, I mean, it looks more like flowers to me, but I mean, I guess I can see where you're going, but yeah. Well, I'm looking at myself like this tiny, a little tiny thing. and the, That's true, yeah. If, if it was in the small window, it'd probably in, look like in that. In the background, it just looks like I'm getting attacked, like big time, and <laughs> thankfully, I've I've got the vac, so there's nothing going to stop these guys. I mean, yeah. they're not going to get away, me, Kobe. so that's right. Let me push them away, because they're super heavy, apparently. <laughs> I love doing video effects for radio. These the, the radio and podcast people are going, what? <laughs> like, what are they even talking about? I've got to go check this out now. Yeah, so go to youtube.com slash the final app and you can find out. There you go. See, there was a method to my madness. It's to get people to watch. Yeah, that's it. All so right. sweet. What we got going on, man? Woo! <laughs> Boy, you've been going too fast, son. Oh, Boy. no. Yeah, one of the drivers got pulled That's over by the fuzz. By the fuzz. Do they Man. still call him the I've fuzz? Heard him called, I haven't heard him called the fuzz. In, I was just about to say, I haven't heard it in a long time. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I think now more than ever, they probably have been called the fuzz recently. I don't know, though. I don't really. I don't even know where that term came from or how old it is. It sounds like a 50s thing. What I always heard was, like, when you wear pants and stuff, you get lint that gets stuck to you. And so it's like fuzz. So it's like the fuzz is on your butt when they're following you. Ah, okay. That's what I always heard is the reason for it. Yeah, um, but you call I'm in Texas, caramel so wrong and other words. I call it caramel words. and I call yeah. it uh, envelopes. So who yeah. knows? Uh, I could have so, a totally different definition. What we're talking about is soon after uh, driving 200 miles an hour for 400 miles, Chase Briscoe <laughs> was pulled over for speeding near Michigan International Speedway. He shared a video of the blue and red lights in his backup camera and said, quote, at least I wasn't going 200 miles an hour like earlier. And his wife, Marissa, tweeted, I told him about eight times you slow down. I finally said, I hope you get pulled over. And so we did, smiley face. <laughs> Well, so she won, okay? This yeah. is the game we all play, okay? I'm sure when your wife drives, you criticize her driving. When you drive, she criticizes yours. That's just how we all do it. Well, and so my wife drives like Jeff Gordon. I drive like the pace car. I have ridden uh, in a hatchback trunk while you were driving, and yes, you do drive very slowly, which was good in that situation <laughs> right? because it, I could have been murdered had it not been for that, so... The fact that you drive like a granny was perfect that day. Now, that wouldn't uh, be murder. <laughs> that would be negligence, but I don't think it would be murder. Well, I would be murdered by the car, not by you. Well, but, okay. Yeah. But you would be the expert. You do all the editing of those podcasts. So right. You know what it would be. I don't think I would be on the hook for murder. I'd be on the hook for something else, though. I mean, it really depends, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, um, I think it's comical anytime a, a NASCAR driver gets pulled over. See, I think if somebody, like, knocked somebody out and was throwing them in the trunk and said, I'm going to throw you back here and drive really recklessly so I murder you, then it would count as murder, right? It's premeditated I, at that point. I suppose, yeah. And if you had the trunk all planned <laughs> out and stuff. If you, like, backed it into a wall really hard. See, you know what we're trying to do here is we're trying to uh, get into the true crime podcast yes. arena. And if we just talk about it, maybe we'll get thrust into there. Yeah, some kind of weird algorithm will pick us up. They're like, hey, these guys are talking about true crime. Get them in yeah. there. Yep, murder came up and trunk. Lots of murdering and trunks and <laughs> car murder. 
Hey, I'm excited about this next story, and so I will do it because this is the kind of stuff that I love. This is the true. kind of news. Word is Will Smith, mega monster, huge mondo actor guy, Will Smith, and his production company, Westbrook Studios, is looking to produce a NASCAR-themed rom-com. And for those that don't know what that is, it's a romantic comedy, rom-com. Well, that negates the whole reason why you would shorten it, because now you had to go lengthen it and t- explain it. I know, but I, I felt the need. Okay. The, well, the need to explain. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I guess the working title is going to be Clean Air. Is that like a playoff drafting or environmental? I think it's or... a, a play on being out front in the field where you don't have anybody... Okay. Disturbing the air in front of your car. So uh, NASCAR's Matt Summers and Tim Clark, never heard of either of them, will be involved in the picture as executive producers. Uh, no <laughs> word yet on the release date. Am I supposed to know who they are, I guess? Uh, I would not expect you to know. So, <laughs> okay, yeah, <but> thank you. <laughs> right on par with what I expected. And uh, Will Smith not scheduled to star in the movie, so it's bound to fly. Yet. Yet. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it, should be be a, it should be a hitch remake. But NASCAR. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? That would be great. Especially if they get alerted to wherever they eat and their whole face puffs up. That was a that funny That was scene. funny. His tongue's all dangling and stuff and his lips all flapping. Yep. And Kevin Good James. Times. Hey, Kevin James does NASCAR stuff. So right there. Put well, him in there. So that's the thing. That was not picked up for a second season. So yeah. he doesn't anymore. Yeah. But yeah. I just love his uh, the Q-tip <clears throat> dance. Throw it away. <laughs> Remember that? Anyway, more news, actual <laughs> news. <laughs> Subway, not Jimmy John's, will be the primary sponsor for Stuart Haas Racing and Kevin Harvick. What? For two races beginning with Bristol. What? Holy Subway sandwich. What just um, happened? How does that work? Well, um, Jimmy John's sponsor of the year, and they've been kind of reducing their involvement with the team, and apparently right. their contract's up, All right. and wow. Subway is sliding in. So. They swooped in. One they sub did. for like, another sub. Go. <laughs> and of course, Subway used to sponsor Tony Stewart as a driver, and actually that was the sponsor on the car when he controversially went at Talladega by shoving Regan Smith below the uh, yellow line. Okay. How about this? Do you like um, uh, you know animal cruelty? No. Oh, well, then maybe we shouldn't talk about it. Why would anyone like that? <laughs> well, apparently NASCAR Cup Series director Jay Fabian allegedly likes that because he is stepping away from his NASCAR Cup Series, uh, you know, uh, director-ism, spot, okay. whatever, Yeah. Uh, through, uh, you know, he's been accused of animal cruelty by not feeding his dogs and stuff. So he's got huh. warrants out for his arrest and uh, we'll be going to court. Okay, well, that's not a good story at all. No, that's bad. Ooh, yeah. let's flip it, though, so we can go to something good again. You ready? Okay. <laughs> Ken Schrader. Yeah, okay. Coming back. He's going to race Arca uh, next week. He was the first one on the crime scene at uh, Dale Earnhardt's death. More crime. Here we go. We're try- I'm trying to weave it in, man. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even a crime scene. It was just an accident scene. Okay, well, he was there <laughs> when, you know... The deed was done. He, he was there. So, yeah, Ken Trader will be running the ARCA race uh, next week, September 5th. Too so soon? Cool. He hasn't ran in the series since 2019. Wow. Uh, which was a pole and a eighth place finish. So he'll try to follow that up. All right. Cool. Ooh, you want one more? Okay. I'm dying to get to this next thing, but sure. <laughs> We've got some suspensions. Cool. I love those. <laughs> yes. Uh, Ross Chastain's car chief will be uh, out for one race due to the axle flying out of his car during uh, the race at Michigan. Well, that's a shame. And JD Motorsports holler driver um, has been indefinitely suspended, presumably for something that was probably said on social media. Okay. Great. Yep, and that would be Brian Thomas. By the wait, way. wait, wait. NASCAR can do that? I better go delete some tweets. <laughs> well, it's it would have to be like racism or oh. calling out somebody of a gender or well, I said NASCAR was a joke. Well, that doesn't, I mean, that's the truth. You can't. Oh, you know. okay. <laughs> can't be arrested for truth. All right. Hey, uh, if you've been watching all of this fun on YouTube.com slash The Final Lap, we're going to have to say goodbye to you. 
And if you want to continue with more fun, you're going to have to switch over to the podcast and find us wherever you get your podcasts. We are literally everywhere. So whatever you use for podcasts, search for The Final Lap Weekly, and boom, we will show up. So thank you, YouTube people, youtube.com slash The Final Lap, and uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Boom. Thank <laughs> you.